Welcome to Keith and Kevin's Repair and Restoration and today we have this 2000 Pontiac Sunfire with a 2.2 or 2200 SFI motor. I do consider this one of Chevy's worst motors unfortunately, but it seems like it does okay in Cavaliers but in an S10 pickup you'll be putting head gaskets in every 60,000 miles. Um, anyway today this one has a no start so we have a crank no start. Um, it has been to a shop already that pretty much said they diagnosed it as a bad timing chain. Uh, the unique thing here is during a compression test, and we've already done one, it'll pump up to 30 but it just won't hold pressure. But if you have a bad timing chain you won't have compression obviously because your valves aren't doing their job. So we're going to go ahead and do a, a crank no start. I want you to listen to the crank and that will tell you a lot of what's going on with this engine. I consider this a mortal wound just by the way it sounds. I'm kind of leery if it's a timing chain or not. But I mean who knows, maybe it is. But anyway, let's give her a crank. Okay, so that if you listen to it's a dut 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 dut. Now normally when I've seen timing chains break, what I normally would hear would be the opposite. You'd actually hear the motor spin up really fast, where it'd be like a woo 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 woo. And this one is not the case. So unfortunately, I mean we're gonna have to do some teardown inspection. And take the valve cover off and see if we have valves turning, and that's pretty much the easiest way to diagnose a bad chain. Um, there are other ways, but I think with the way this motor's sounding, I need to see what those valves are doing. So tear down inspection coming on, stay tuned. Alright, so once your negative battery cable is out of the way and not touching any metal, then you can start the tear down. So you undo your hose clamp right here going to the air hose, just pop that off, and you come over here and you unplug your air temperature sensor, and you undo your clip here, throttle cable. Once you get your air hose out of the way, you're probably going to uh, take off the PCB hose. <laughs> okay. Oh. Over maintenance? Has it had over maintenance? Yeah, it's had a lot of over maintenance. Disgusting. Just completely, utterly disgusting. This is kind of like when you eat Burger King all the time. This is what your insects will look like. <laughs> Took our battery back up. Timing chain or not, moment of truth. <laughs> well, so far, 0 for 1 on the timing chain, we have no valve movement, so uh, let's just say we're going to assume for now the timing chain's bad, and that's where we're going next. All right, first things first, get your belt out of the way. The tensioner does have to get out of the way, so be prepared to unbolt that. We give you just enough room to work. Not, a, not an inch more, though. I better hope you can't. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Well, you won't be able to do that after we get the chain on. It's hard to do a compression test when your valves aren't moving. I think it's hilarious. All we have to do is get that in the old front cover off. But I think the power steering pump's gonna be in the way of the front cover. <laughs> Look how they've hit this ground bracket. Mm -hmm. There you go. That should get you some room. Shitty ass bracket, if you ask me. Thanks. See? Like I told you, one piece. There we go, lots of bracket in there. I'm just saying. 
Gonna need room to work. Hey, look at that. Now we got room. Very good. There's your water pump on your tutu. And let's see if this is having the leaking head gas like they all do. And the answer is yes, head gasket is leaking. Like all tutus. Because steel block steel bottom, aluminum top. But that's your head gasket. And I haven't seen a tutu yet not have a seep in a head gasket. Junk look back there too, right there. I'll point a camera now with the seam is between the head and block. Oh GM.